Chase me, Prince Charming. Oh, it's cold. Something went wrong in the top half. No. <laughs> suck it in. I'm going to suck, suck my boobs in. I think I'm going to rip it. She sells seashells by the seashore. No one's going to buy my seashells. Can you see my belly button? <laughs> I'm like a rocket. Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. I am back with a fashion try on haul. I recently made a big order on YesStyle because your girl needs to refresh her wardrobe. I've gone up a size and my wardrobe now consists of either oversized t-shirts, nursing or breastfeeding friendly outfits. And so I need something that will make me feel hot and young again. So I got a bunch of different outfits to try today. So let's jump into it. Oh, first one is this floral dress. It's a short sleeve floral dress, and I was really drawn to this one because of the pattern. It looked nice and summery. In the photo, it looked a little bit more like delicate, but in person, it's very like stiff. The material, if you know what I mean, it feels very I don't know, almost plasticky. In the photos, the model is like running through the field. It's like golden hour. She looks really like angelic, and so you know. That's the vibe that I want to feel. That's how I want to feel on a daily basis. Not sleep deprived. It looks like a kid's coloring in book. Um, not quite what I envisioned. These straps are a bit too long, so they kind of just like fall to the side and they're not adjustable. Look, the dress fits, but is it flattering? Be honest guys, is it flattering? I look pregnant again. Do I look pregnant again? I feel like I could do a maternity shoot in this. Like one of those like mystical sort of like forest shoots with my, my baby. But I don't have the baby belly anymore. I just look pregnant. Now the back is crisscross. Please ignore my nursing bra. If I go braless, we might leak. So I have to keep my bra on. Like it's got that nice crisscross detailing and there's a zip here and it fits, but I just don't feel like it suits me, you know what I mean? Um, chase me, Prince Charming. <laughs> me, I'm just running away from my reflection right now. <laughs> I think my body type is just not made for a dress like this. It's just not flattering in the sense that it's a bit puffy like around my gut area and then my boob takes up all this space and so I just look really frumpy. If I just put like by pulling the sleeves up it makes it look better, right? I look less like top heavy in a way, right? I mean it's still thin but I guess like I think I could work with this ish. It's really itchy though, like my underarms, it's like getting tickled. I mean, that's the best we could do with this dress. Also, it has lining underneath. <laughs> <laughs> my underwear. <laughs> the lining's not thick enough to hide my black underwear, but um... Whoa, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I should have worn nude today, whoops. Let's just hide that back. Next, I got this long sleeve dress. It actually looks a lot shorter. I didn't expect it to be this short, but we'll see. It's an interesting pattern. It kind of reminds me of like Dior. One of those like patterns on the Dior tote bags, but clearly this ain't Dior. I need it to wrap around my chest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> I'm a mess. Hold on. Got a lot of boom happening. I just need the right kind of bra or really like no bra, but I can't do no bra, you know. If you've ever breastfed or you're breastfeeding, you know what I mean. We don't want wet patches everywhere. I thought this would be too short. When I held it up, I felt like, oh, that's too short. But I don't know, maybe because it's like long sleeve as well, it, it looks quite nice. Maybe if it was sleeveless and it had this length, I would feel a little bit weird, but I think the long sleeve dress works. The thing is dresses that have the, I guess like the shape of where your boobs supposed to be, it doesn't really fit me, especially now because my boobs are quite full. It's like hitting me right, like mid boob almost. Like my boobs still here, it ends there guys. So it looks a little bit funny from the side, but I think from the front you can't, you can't fully tell. Oh. It's a lot of bull. <laughs> <laughs> Zen, please don't get too excited. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. 
I know, I think I'm having a letdown. Oh my God, I just looked at myself and had a letdown. Guys, if you don't know what a letdown is, it's when your boob just releases milk. Like you have no control over it. Sometimes if I hear Lila crying or just like a crying baby in general, like my boobs just start leaking. But that's why you need to wear these like disposable breast pads or like the reusable ones. So I've got that underneath. So it makes my boobs look even bigger than it is because uh, there's like a breast pad. I feel very girly, but like the pattern kind of like more classy. It's not like super young. I also like that it's very light and it's stretchy as well. It's got that, what do you call it again? Shirred. Yes, the shirred pattern at the back. So it does have room to stretch. I like how the sleeves just taper in like that. I don't know, it just looks very classic and classy. You know what I mean? Zen's like, it's giving me Victorian vibes. This dress would be a really nice dress to wear once I finish up breastfeeding because you know, this just needs to calm its farm down and just go back to my previous size. Hopefully I don't sag much, but you know, it's a nice dress. I like it. You know what? I like it because it gives me more shape. You know what I mean? It makes my waist look smaller because the skirt part flares out and it's like flowy. Release the girls. <laughs> Whew. It looks like a pillowcase, doesn't it? <laughs> this is a sleeveless silky blouse. It looks way better in the photo, guys. You know those that, that style that's like everywhere? I think Zara even has it. Like those shirts with a little bit of padding to give you a bit of structure because that's very in at the moment. But this is in, in a silky satiny material. Clearly needs to be steam. I really like the jogger pants that she was wearing. So I actually bought that, but then I think they ran out of stock. And so they never shipped that one. It was canceled. And so I'm like, mm -hmm sad because I wanted the complete outfit but I can wear it with a pair of jeans that I got this is a pair of wash tapered jeans from a cream brand called Dabba Girl I purchased from them before and I'm pretty sure I got like the larger size I don't fit into any of my jeans at the moment like if I can get it past my butt I can't do the button up because there's more of me to love now so I needed new jeans I was inside. Oh. It's like a bib. I was like, what? Why do I have a bib? I hope these jeans fit. I have not worn blue jeans in ages. Oh yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's a little bit tight, but I, I can I can work with it. So the top with the jeans, I think it works. You know, even if I had like a pair of white jeans, I think it looked more like chic. But with the top itself, it's got like a slight padding here. It's not super thick or anything, but it does like give me shape. Though the other day I was reading like tips on how to dress for bigger busts or bigger boobies. Um, they said to avoid like shiny materials and I was like, oh no, I bought that like top. But now that I have it on, it's not too bad. Style of this like tee, it just makes my boobs kind of like not as big or like not not draw so much attention to it. In the photo, she wears it with these like joggers and I really like that. So maybe I can find something similar like that, but otherwise the top on its own is actually quite pretty once it's steamed because it looked like a pillowcase when I held it up before. The jeans um, fit, however, like if I just stand straight, I always notice it, but it's that the crotch area, like it's very camel toe-esque. It always happens to me. I don't know why, so I feel like I need to like stand with my legs apart to avoid having camel toit. It's not bad. It's not like the best pair of jeans I've ever bought. It's okay, you know what I mean? Like, I think if I just wore a, a belt or something with it, it would kind of make this region look a little bit better. Um, and then obviously like kind of pose with it. I can't do oh. what she's doing. Is she like levitating? No, she's sitting on the chair. Oh, well. I <laughs> the length though is good for me because I'm a shorty so I don't need to go hem these up. It looks a little bit different. Let's just be honest, it looks way better on her than it does on me. It almost looks a lot tighter around here for her, right? The leg area. It looks tapered. Probably. Yeah, this mine doesn't look so tapered. Mine looks like a straight cut. Meh. And maybe if it was just like a little bit tighter around the foot. Give me some shape there. Anyways, it's okay. It's not like the hottest pair of jeans I've ever worn. Untucked, I look like 
It looks like a pillowcase. <laughs> Untucked, it is not flattering. It definitely needs to be tucked in. I also got this cute t-shirt. It says Five Paris. It looks like one of those expensive, you know, Chanel shirts, but it ain't Chanel, but you know, kind of looks pretty. And I need to like up my t-shirt game because all I have are Uniqlo t-shirts and they're oversized and I wear them to bed. Okay, I try not to get my freaking makeup on this. That's the thing, I hate trying on white tops at the stores. Like this is me in the change room. I'm like, don't get it on the t-shirt. I don't want to buy it. Let's use my hair as a barrier. Oh, it's cold. No wonder it's cold. There's like the little rivets to hold the, the little balls down. She rolled it. Oh, she rolled it. Yeah, that looks better when it's rolled. This is what it is. A t-shirt, guys. I think we've seen a t-shirt like this before. I mean, a white t-shirt has the cool embellishments here which are actually quite secure because, you know, they've got that backing there. So it's actually like pressed into the shirt, not just like glued on. Um, it is a little bit sheer, so you can kind of see my black bra underneath. Definitely need to wear a nude one. Uh, sorry guys, not very ladylike. Yeah, I don't know. Their shoulders, like in these photos, they look so structured. Like it must be like their shoulders. And I pop the shoulder, shoulder shot. And then here I am looking very average. Like she looks chic and elevated in t-shirt and jeans. Like I'm kind of wearing the same thing, but we don't look the same. She just knows how to hit the mangles. You know, it's a nice casual everyday look. I like it. I may not look like the model, but at least I'm comfortable. I gotta cut the tag off guys. The next pieces I have, this is a single breasted tweed jacket. It's not a jacket, it's a shirt, but the title says jacket. It's a shirt. And with it comes a matching pair of shorts, tweed shorts. It looks quite elegant in the photo. In person, I don't know if it looks as like expensive, but it is quite like an affordable piece. I did like the gold sort of chain detailing it had. It also has like a gold chain with some pearls on the shorts. Are these actual pockets? No, fake pockets. What? Why would you fake that? What went wrong here, guys? What went wrong? Okay, I think the top is too big for me, like the sleeves. I can't roll it back because it's got the tweed detailing. So you meant to just have it like a long sleeve, but because I got a large, it's just very big. And this is unusual because usually if I get a, like a medium or a large in an Asian sort of brand, it's like equivalent to Western small, you know? But this one's actually quite oversized. The shorts though, the shorts fit really well. It's actually quite comfortable, but it's just this. The, the matching blouse is just not great. I thought it'd make me look expensive and chic, but it's doing the exact opposite. What's wrong, but something's something went wrong in the top half, right? I think maybe if it was more, f more. Fit. No. <laughs> it's double neck. Untucked, untucked would be worse. Okay, guys, it's clearly just too big. That's the problem here. But hey, look, let's look on the brighter side. I could just wear like a, a white top. I could probably just wear that that other top with it. Yeah, the, this top, no go. Well, I know why the model looks so good now. They photoshopped her. Like, Is the chair yeah, like walked? Oh, they pinched her. Okay, now I don't feel so bad because this is unrealistic, guys. It's a bad Photoshop. <laughs> Zen's just critiquing their Photoshop. I'm not impressed. I was fooled. We were fooled. Oh yeah, see guys, this is so much cuter. You just need like the top to be a different top and then these shorts, they're cute. She, shell she sells seashells by the seashore. She sells she 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 by the seashore. <laughs> she sells seashells. <laughs> she sells she. <laughs> she sells she. She sells seashores. <laughs> She sells she sells she she sells she she sells she sells seashells by the seashore. Oh, what was the good one? She sells seashells by the seashore. <gasps> Took forever, guys. English is our first language. <laughs> Seashell cups, guys. I was drawn to the neckline of this, the booby part. Cause look, it looks like little seashells. So this is a spaghetti strap mid A line dress. It's got a panel of lace on the side. So it's got like a layer of nude um, fabric underneath. So it's supposed to look like your skin tone, you know, a little bit sexy. Again, I got a large in this and I feel like just by looking at it, it should fit my 
should fit my body. Suck it in. Wait, wait, how am I gonna suck my <laughs> boobs in? Suck your boobs in. I think I'm gonna rip it. I think I'm gonna rip it. <laughs> We're almost there. Ooh, I think if I like exhale. Okay, I kinda got it. Okay, I'm okay. scared, I'm scared. You're scared, I'm scared. I'm gonna pop this. Should, I, should we not? She sells seashells by the seashore. No one's gonna buy my seashells. Look at the. <laughs> I ain't getting no business out at sea like this. In my mind, this one's gonna be so cute. Can you see my belly button? <laughs> no. No. It's just like a black vortex. It's like gonna suck everything into this little black vortex. Should I try to suck it in? You can still see. <laughs> there is no part of this dress that actually looks good on me. Okay, number one. We can't zip it all the way, even though I got like the larger size and you know, I've got that top heavy problem. And then the seashells kind of flare out, so it actually makes me look a lot bigger than I am. And then the material is shiny, so it's very unforgiving, especially to the, the belly button region. And I don't know, I thought these panels were supposed to be more on the side. On her, it looks like it's like here, you know what I mean? On me, it's like right at the front. <laughs> She looks so chic. She looks so elegant. And I'm like, no, no elegance at all. I feel pregnant again. Because of my little pooch. Yeah, why is it so flared? I think because it doesn't fit me. Like, just picture it like that. Like, that would be so much better if it fit me and it would actually not flare out so much. I might just like keep this on standby because I might be able to to fit in it one day. This dress is interesting, guys. Check out the spaghetti strings? What are they called? Straps. straps. <laughs> Check out the straps on these. There's like little balls. I think they're like little pearls, but then it's got like this stocking cover or something on it. I don't know. It looks really interesting and it looked really pretty on the model. And so I was like, you know what? If I went somewhere fancy, I could rock this black dress. I'm actually really happy with this one. Ooh, 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 ooh. This one fits so well. And it has pockets. Voila. The shape of this one's a little bit interesting. Like it kind of gives me like Mary Poppins vibe because you know how the skirts are a little bit like poofier. This one has a little bit of boning, so it kind of gives me more shape and it fits. Like I can zip it up all the way and actually have a little bit of room there. So it's pretty comfortable. The balls are the, <laughs> the highlight of this dress. The straps are little balls. So it's a little bit, I don't know, it's cool. It's kind of interesting, you know? Also because of the shape of this dress, I feel like it makes me look like I've got like a longer torso because of where it starts to flare out. It's a little bit lower. It's not like a high one. So I feel like it gives me a more flattering shape. In the image, it looked like the, the split was on the side, not so much in the center, but I guess maybe she's holding that. It's black, so it makes me look slim. So I do like that. The material is interesting. It's almost like a neoprene material. It's got pleats around this area, so it makes the skirt puff out a little bit more, giving me that extra shape. It's a nice, like a fancy dinner, or even like, you know, a party, you know, like an evening sort of dress. I can see myself wearing this. It's like nice for a fancy place or a fancy occasion if you know what I mean makes me just want to spin okay I was a little bit puzzled with this one because on the actual like bag it has the same name as the dress that I got online but it's a completely different dress I ordered this dress but then I was sent this one looks nothing alike I mean, it's not a bad dress. I'll just try it on for you guys anyway, but I think they sent me the wrong dress. Meh. That one in the photo I really liked because it had like puffy sleeves and it just looked like a really interesting cut. <sighs> but let's just try this one on. I didn't order this one, but I'm trying it on anyway. <laughs> and then like, I hate the color. Color's yuck. Usually I love nudes, but it looks too close to my skin color and it's got the yellow detailing, but it just makes me look very dull. Like, you know, sometimes you want a dress that compliments and brings out your skin tone. This just pulls everything back and it gets washed away. I just can't wear like, like bodycon style dresses anymore. I just feel, number one, I feel very I don't know, uncomfortable. One, because the boob area clearly does not fit. 
there, there's my boob and that's where it ends that's an issue i have now like finding things that fit around the chest area and then also i just feel like with my little pooch it's just it's just not flattering it's like the same size as my butt kind of wish they sent me the dress that i ordered yeah no 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 this one i got um it's called the sleeveless double breasted mini coped dress in the photo, it kind of reminds me of like K-drama vibes, you know, it's like that rich, successful CEO chick, you know, like just ruling the world and then she falls in love with like some guy, maybe like an intern or something and it's just like a, this whole like love shabamble. But yeah, that's the vibe that it gives me. It also had this interesting part on the side, which I feel like would sort of add to my figure and make me look more hourglass, I'm hoping. <laughs> Damn it! I really had high hopes for this one. I was like, yes, this one is elegant. This will make my waist look a lot smaller. But look at it, guys. It's more like a straight sort of a blazer dress than a cinched in one. But in the photo, look how snatched the model looks, right? Look how unsnatched I look. I'm like a rocket. That's misleading, and I was reckon it's the size. I thought it looked a little bit big when I held it up, but I was like, you know what, when I wear it, it'll be different. Zen, yep. Yeah. Zen's gonna fix me. So this is what I envisioned for this outfit. Like this dress would have been like this. I would have looked a little bit more snatched. This part would have sort of flared out, made my hips look a little bit like wider than my waist. This must be like that online shop trick people do, right? They just like clip it at the back where you can't see it. So then customers think they're getting this when in fact they're getting this. This dress totally catfished me guys. I got catfished. Okay guys, we've come to the end of this try-on haul. I kind of feel like there were more misses than hits with this haul. Is it just me or did you guys sort of like sense that? Some of the items I can make it work, but like the only thing that really stood out to me was like the black dress. This baby was a hit. And then I didn't mind this one as well. This one surprised me. Everything else was meh or no way. Like this. I guess I just gotta like get back on my horse and do more online shopping to build my wardrobe again if you guys are new here don't forget to click subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future uploads also i have a playlist of all my fashion try on hauls so do check that out and i shall speak to you guys next time bye zen photoshop me so i can just like fly off to the moon Shh. Ba -dum -ba -dum 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 -dum